quite frankly, I'm obsessed. <laughs> It's me, you may welcome back to my channel. As you guys can probably tell from the title of this video, I am doing something very exciting today. I am going to be working with one of my favorite brands ever. I'm sure you all know who they are. Pretty little thing. The reason I'm so excited to work with PLT today is just because I've loved their clothes for so long. I've bought them myself for years. Today's video is going to be a PLT styling haul. It's very, very kindly sponsored by Pretty Little Thing. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to their YouTube channel. I'll link it down in the description box below. They're posting loads of fun content over on there and I'll also be linking all of the outfits that I show you today in the description box below so make sure you go get your hands on them if you like them we can be twinning without further ado let's get started I may as well start off with what I've got on right now so this is just a plain white ribbed crop top it's long sleeved and honestly it's so freaking soft and comfy this is definitely going to be a staple piece in my wardrobe for the autumn winter months my friends always notice that all I go out in nowadays is crop tops and it's kind of bad but when they're long sleeved it's all right. I don't think you can really tell on camera, but bottom of the top is actually like an elasticated band, which personally I really, really like. I think it just adds that little bit more detail. It just gives it a more like flattering sort of fit. I've still got the bloody tag on. That's absolutely great. Ah, oh, it does look slightly see-through in this light, but just keep in mind that I am in front of a massive freaking studio light right now. You're gonna get that with most like light colored tops really. Other than that, it's literally freaking perfect. I've decided to pair this just with these light kind of wash straight leg petite jeans. Honestly, I freaking love these. So much. I was worried that the denim weren't going to be great just because they're so freaking affordable. But the denim is actually really, really nice. It's very soft denim. So it's super, super comfy. I really, really like the fit and the wash of the jeans. I just got some plain white shoes on. Let me just show you. I literally love. I literally received these like two, three days ago. I've already worn them twice. At the moment, I feel like I'm seeing everyone in these like plaid shirt type things. I decided to pick one up. Of course, that's a jump on the trend. This is just like a light blue color. This is so soft. I'm pretty sure they only have this exact one available in one size, so obviously that's the one I picked up. It's very, very much oversized, but I feel like these shirts are supposed to have that sort of look about them. And keep in mind that I'm freaking tiny. I really am. I think these sort of shirts just add so, so much to a look. They can really switch things up, you know? You could wear it over your outfit. You could just, like, tie around your waist, see how that looks. Just if you prefer that sort of look. I personally prefer it, like, going over an outfit. Just like an open jacket, really. I feel like this whole outfit is just staples that you need in your autumn winter wardrobe. Let's be real here. Kind of loving this outfit. Don't gas me. Last thing I'm going to quickly add to this outfit is, if you're a bag wearer like me, this bag is so cute. Let me not lie. I'm pretty sure this is like a dupe for either one of the Prada bags or a Louis Vuitton bag. Let's be wrong. I can't afford the designer one. The PLT one is just as cute. This is what it looks like. It could literally go with any freaking outfit. I've literally already got like all of my stuff in here. <laughs> I don't have any crossbody bags just because I usually don't think they really suit me that much, but this one I'm loving. You're probably going to see me in this quite a lot. Let me know your thoughts on this first outfit that I've shown you. I like to be comfy and casual but cute at the same time and this outfit, it does it for me. Moving on to the next. Okay. Okay, hear me out. I'm kind of loving it. I thought I'd go with something a little bit more dressy, let's say. First of all, one of my favorite parts of the look, the sunglasses. Oh my god, obsessed. Not 100% sure what these are called. Let me double check for you. These are called the brown square slimline sunglasses. Look how gorgeous these are. I'm actually obsessed with the color brown at the minute. I feel like it's so autumnal. I don't think a lot of brown clothes suit my skin tone and like my hair and stuff. I did want something brown, so I went with the sunnies and I will never be turning back on these. Now, I decided to pick something from the Molly May range. This is just a camel color double breasted is this double breasted i think so cropped blazer i've never owned a crop razor in my 17 years of existence thought i'd give it a go this looks so good on molly herself it's nice material it's not too heavy i did keep on this white crop top from the last look i don't think you really need it on i feel like it would look quite nice without it if you wanted to show a little bit of Cleavage. These are the sleeves. I literally love these like button details down the sleeve. I do wish the sleeves fit a little bit better, like a little bit shorter, but I don't think it looks terrible. Like it's, it's okay. We're working with it. Let me undo this real quick. This is what it looks like undone. And on me, I think this actually might look better. I don't know. The jeans. Oh my goodness. Once again, these are just some light wash straight leg jeans. These fit even better than the last ones did. And the last ones fit pretty good. These are like perfect on my waist. They have a little rip in the knee. And I seen these heels. I was like, oh, I need them. I feel like these could look so cute with this 
look. Look how stunning they are. They're just these white square toe heels. They've got little straps over the front and on the top. I don't have any heels like this and quite frankly, I'm obsessed. I don't know who I think I am or where I'm going wearing this outfit. Considering these are like a normal heel, they're not a block. They're pretty comfy. Look at how tall I am. Damn. Oh yes. Oh yes. Though you can get Molly Mae vibes from this. Don't want to get too close to my feet, but I actually quite like how the jeans sort of go over just like the top bit of the shoe. I think it looks quite cute. Just remember, I'm 18 next year, girls and boys. Might be able to go for cocktails with the girls in these shoes in this whole outfit. I never get anything like this and I'm actually happy I switched it up for once. I'm tempted to go back and get more. For this next outfit that I've got on, I was thinking sort of smart, casual vibes. Now that I've got it on, I'm not 100% sure on the way these pieces look together. Individually obsessed. I've got this oversized t-shirt on. This just says Wanderer and it's got this like graphic print on it. Literally love it. The colours all together. It reminds me of the sunset. As far as the graphic tee goes, this is perfect. I think the material is so nice. It's really soft and comfy. I have rolled up the sleeves just because I prefer that sort of look on me. I'm thinking with these trousers, this could look better if it was sort of tied in a knot. I wanted to first of all show you like this just to show you the full vibe. These trousers, the fit on the waist is amazing. Sometimes I do find it quite hard to get that sort of fit, but I'm absolutely gassed about this. These are the black straight leg trousers. I'm gonna make straight leg in this coin eye. They are from the petite section. These are a bit more baggy than I would have expected. I kind of really like it. It's just giving me more casual vibes. I've seen a lot of people wearing trousers in the autumn and winter recently, especially on TikTok and stuff. I've wanted the pair for ages and these are the one. Both of these pieces are very, very versatile. You could dress these trousers up if you wanted because they are more smarter trousers. These sort of t-shirts you can also wear with anything. Jeans, joggers, trousers, you name it. I also decided to pick up one of these leather shirts. Every single person that I walk past in the street has one of these. I wasn't planning on getting one but PLT just made me give in. Some people can really freaking pull these off and look amazing in them. Not 100% sure how I feel on me. You can throw these literally over most outfits. You know what? I think this is actually quite cute. I'm not gonna lie to you. Obsessed with the fit of these trousers. They're so comfy. If you're also looking for a pair of trousers, I would highly recommend these. I'm so excited to wear these outfits. We've got another casual fit going on. This is literally such an everyday outfit to wear. I've got my fave accessories on. I've got the sunglasses on the head. I think sunglasses in autumn and winter, even though you're not using them for the sun, they just add so much to an outfit. I never realized how important accessorizing was until recently. And let me tell you, it's important. I've got my little bag on again. You can actually change the length of this, by the way, to whatever you want. I've got another oversized t-shirt on. I've seen so, so many people in this and I understand why everyone wants to buy it. But this look, I have just left the sleeves as they are just to sort of show you how they would fit. The graphic on this, it's just got New York City on it. I think it says the Legendary League. It's sort of like blue and red colors. I decided to wear my red Converse with it just to tie it all together, you know. We do love a bit of color coordination out here. These jeans are literally just the jeans I wore with the first outfit. The basic straight leg jeans. This is just what the bottom looks like with the red Converse and everything. I feel like these jeans would go with any sort of shoe to be fair. Whatever takes your fancy. Again, there's nothing to fault about this outfit. I love it. I did actually pick up this winter sort of coat from Pretty Little Thing. It's just plain black. They had this in a green color and oh my god, it was stunning. The reason I picked black is just because I feel like it will go with more of what I sort of wear. This is just what it looks like. It's a very, very nice material. It feels super comfy. It's just got fur on the hood. So fur, of course. This is in a size four and I don't think I really like the fit of this jacket on me. It's super, super big and oversized. I can't even see it. It's just got like the pretty little thing branding there on the sleeve. It's got a lot of detail to it. It's got like an adjustable waist. You can pull yourself in if you want to. If you're feeling cold, you could throw this on. You're guaranteed to look good in something like this. This is sadly going to bring us to our very last outfit. Do remember all the links to these outfits are down below if you want to be twinning with me. Last but far from least, this is the final outfit. I threw the bag in there again just because it freaking goes, right? I carry a bag to most places with me nowadays, so I'm always gonna need it just to get a better look of what you haven't seen. This is just a charcoal gray sweater. It's got this like rubber logo. It just says PLT Studio Collection. This thing is so soft. Like, look at that material. You can literally tell how soft it's gonna be. I'm literally loving this. I don't own a lot of charcoal pieces and literally love the color, especially for these colder months. This is gonna be so, so cozy for me. I've just paired this with these jeans, which low-key a little bit disappointed at, but it's probably my fault just because the risks not getting them from the petite section. These are just a black baggy fit jeans. They have these sick neon green pockets on the back. Look at those. I thought these were absolutely sick when I seen them, so I had to pick them up. It was risky knowing that they weren't from the petite section and I am so freaking tiny, but I just had to do it, guys. I really did. I personally think they fit fine on the bottom. Obviously, yes, they are baggy, but they look kind of cool in that way. The problem for me 
is the top. They just don't fit my waist. I kind of want them to sit up here and I guess just be tighter. They kind of hang down, so it just makes this whole bit kind of awkward looking. The pockets really do it for me. They make them look so unique compared to other jeans that I have, and I don't own anything like these. Let me just throw on a belt real quick. This is how they look with my Gucci belt on. I think these are so cute. Yeah. Catch me out in this outfit soon. The comfort of this is just freaking blowing me away though. Let me not lie. Anyways, I guess that brings us right up to the end of today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're not already. Subscribe to PLT's YouTube channel. If there's anything I showed you in this haul that takes your fancy, head down into the description box below. I've left all of the links in there. Have a little browse through. Once again, want to say a massive thank you to Pretty Little Thing for sponsoring today's video. It's been an absolute dream to work with you. I guess I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Peace. Whew.